the Joe Rogan experience. I, mean, I you know, as a sober guy, I, I, there's part of me that wishes because I, I liked I liked mushrooms, but only like once or twice a year because it's so fucking fun and mm. you get like you said you get all that stuff going. Yeah. But um, I did them last week. Part of how was it? Did you laugh a lot? Because oh, yeah, all I did, I did was laugh. Post, post Malone and I did a podcast. We did mushrooms. Oh my god! Yeah, we had a good old time. But how how long <laughs> how long were you tripping? Uh, well, the podcast was four hours long, and we were drinking too, so it was like just m madness. It was all just like mushrooms. I could feel the mushrooms, and I was getting high too. He wasn't smoking pot, but we were drinking Bud Lights, and it was a lot of chaos. This is like exactly what my eighties were like. <laughs> but I, but I. I think about people go and do ayahuasca and do yeah. those those I that really appeals to me. That's different in that you know you could call it a drug, but it's DMT, which is what ayahuasca brings up. Right, it's what it, it's the active ingredient. You're still you. It's, you're not drunk. That's what's weird about it. it. Well, I don't know what it is, but if you wanted to get real woo woo, you would call it some sort of a chemical gateway into another dimension or to a, a, another realm that you can't access without it. It doesn't seem like a drug. But, but how is it not any different than, I got stoned and I saw crazy shit. Well, first of all, it's endogenous, right? So your, your brain actually has this chemical inside of it. It's one of the more interesting things about this drug is that your body knows how to process it so well. Like if you do coke, right? Like I'm sure you, you're coked up for a long time, right? Your body's all fucked up for a long time. Dimethyltryptamine only lasts like 15 minutes. What? It, yeah, your body recognizes what it is, so it brings you back to baseline very, very quickly. Really? So if you do this, yeah, it's a 15-minute experience? Yeah, the ayahuasca takes longer because ayahuasca is an orally active version of it. So what ayahuasca is is the roots of one plant and the leaves of the other. So you have DMT in one plant, and in the other plant you have something called an MAO inhibitor. MAO is monoamine oxidase, and that's produced by your gut to break down dimethyltryptamine and a bunch of other chemicals. But it breaks down dimethyltryptamine because dimethyltryptamine is in a bunch of different plants. So you you could trip just eating phalaris grass if you didn't have monoamine oxidase in your gut. So when you eat this gra if you ate the grass, nothing would happen because your body would break it down. But if you had an MAO inhibitor, then you would trip balls. Well. And then the other thing that people talk about with is like, I vomited for five hours. Yeah, that's that the shit. problem with ayahuasca. You're going to blow your asshole out. You're going to diarrhea, throw up. It's disgusting stuff. You know, the, it, I don't want to do that. It's also because you're getting the plant. <laughs> you're getting all the, the stuff that's you know not the active ingredient from these roots and these leaves, too. And then also your body's freaking out. What did you, have, you, have you ever had any... Um, Awakening or vision or I've had a lot of visions on dimethyltryptamine. Yeah, Any, anything that you could that you once you got um, Once you were done tripping that didn't seem like the ramblings of a madman or was it stuff that you were like, oh wow I had a I had a revelation. It's hard to say um, They they all seem impossible to describe to anybody else other than people that have experienced it but what what it does make you realize is that how the, the, the thing that I always felt when I came back is like, how is this possible that you could go to a place like this where you could see something that's way more vivid and way more powerful than regular life? Like whatever it is, it, it's not it's it's not like it's it's dull and confusing and you feel drugged and you feel less, you know, you feel more, you see more, it's more vibrant, it's more powerful. And whatever is over there seems to know you. It seems to understand, it seems to be you're communicating with something, something that's far more intelligent than you, far more advanced, and not hindered by all of the things that we're hindered by, like our egos and our, our, our nonsense and our insecurities and our, our civilization and culture. It's like, it's, it's some sort of other kind of consciousness, you know, and, 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 it, and it's, they they joke about things. They they make fun of you. Like one time I did it, and uh, all these jesters, like this, uh, like a a geometric pattern of jesters, like a fractal, like infinite jesters, were giving me the finger like this. Fuck you! Like mocking me. And the message that I got was that I was taking myself too seriously. 
Like maybe even like while like my intentions going into the trip, I was taking myself too seriously. Wow. And I remember relaxing, going, "Oh, okay." And re- and they're like, "That's right." Like they're nodding their head, like yes. Like it was a message, like, "Hey, stupid, you know, you take yourself too seriously." Like, fuck you. you. Fuck you. I like and it fuck was you. Gestures like with a hat and everything. So, in your mm-hmm. life now, yeah. like l- let's say you. Or stressing out about something that's very seriously. Do the fractal gest- gestures? Do you remember them? And go, oh yeah, yeah bare, I had this very, very. But you know what I mean? Bare. Like, like it. You bring something back that you can you practically kind of, use in your your this dimension, this time. Humility. There's a there's a humility that comes from real psychedelic experiences that you just because you know that they are possible, it's it makes you it makes you second guess the significance of regular existence. Because mm-hmm. it seems like the whatever that is, like that might be where you go when you die. Okay, I was waiting for the. Yeah. the I was waiting I mean, for the moment. I, I was know. waiting for the moment. So I don't here, know if that's what it is. Here- <laughs>